All right, night time. Nighttime build time. I don't want to wear my glasses. Last time we were here, we brought the dollar. We didn't get a check mark for that though, so really I had no business ending. Oh. It's possible that I can't both have the overhead light off and not have my glasses. I think the thing I really need is my uh, the overhead light, but we're not doing it. So we need 26A and 25A. They appear to be from sheet six. We need three, five, and six. We have here, that's seven. We don't need you, seven. What are you? Two. Don't need you two. What do we have here? Five. Okay, we need five. Oops. Ooh, we need all of these from five. How nice of you two. Oh, and then this piece, I've already used everything. Boom. Now, we need this piece, which is Venton. 21. I don't know why, but I felt like I needed to sand it. So that's happening. Twenty-one. This one is twenty. Let's put them in order. Twenty, twenty-one. We have piece five. And then, we need one, two, three, four, five. We need a bunch of these that I suspect are gonna need to be sanded. These are 18. That's almost everything on here. Now we need, well, the number on this is gone now. It came off. $100 bills, y'all. This one is intense. Okay, this comes out. Now I think, yeah, so this is a big piece that we need and then this is a piece that we need. Mm -hmm. But I think this is not a piece we need. I think this is garbage. But we're setting it over there just in case. And then we have six. It is six. Okay, we need these pieces. I 
had an idea. Let's cut the pieces out of here. You know what? I have laundry downstairs that I should be getting. I keep remembering when it's not a good time to go get it and forgetting when it would be a good time. Why did I think of it now, you might ask, because that's where I think my craft knife is. <laughs> I swear I cut this. I did not go out today, but I did accomplish a lot. I sewed a thing from start to finish. That always feels good. And I got a good start on another thing. You know all those pieces that I was like, I'm going to have to sand? I'm going to have to sand. I've got a skirt in my head. It's based on a skirt I used to own. Um, that I've been wanting to make a new version of for a while now. year, probably. And so today I finally did measurements and baloneyed my way through writing a little pattern for it. And then the next step is to cut it out of some scrap fabric, sew it up, and I have an old sheet that I've been using for so many things, for the backs of pillows sometimes, for when I make masks, the inside layer for myself. I haven't been using sheets if I've made them for other people. Okay, so we need to sand all of these. And then we need to wax coat them. I just feel like what I should do is like blow out one of these mini candles that I have going on here and then be like, Waxing it up. This candle is about to expire. You can tell because the flame is getting too high. Waxed. Tomorrow's Thursday. Thinking about what I want to do. I was thinking what could be fun is to go on an epic walk. 
again. Your version of Epic may vary. I'm pretty out of shape. So I was thinking um, there's this burger place that I like to go. This part is a little rough still. Right here. They have really good burgers. So I was thinking maybe what I do is I walk there. It's two miles or two and a half miles. So I could walk and get a burger and fries and walk back. Although the problem is if you're always walking to go, like if you're always like, oh, I'm going to go on a walk. I'm going to get food on my walk. Well, the healthiness of your walk decreases. But it's okay. I have to eat. I'm not gonna walk and get salad. <laughs> Could do that. It sounds good. I like salad. This place that I would walk to, the burger place, there's also in that same they have other places there, and there's one that sells chicken pot pies that they make themselves. That also sounds pretty good. So this, this wax doesn't seem as waxy. I bet you these other candles are soy wax and that this is beeswax or something like that. I think that wick is too tall. Oops, don't use a lit candle. Oh my gosh, you stuck it in a lit candle. Don't tell, don't tell the instructions, okay? Don't tell. It's just your secret with me. The instructions need never know. Mom, if you're watching this, you should know that my friends are like, what is this cool thing that your mom got you? So I gave them the, the URL on the box, and I told them they probably got it off of Amazon because, you know. Mom, if you're not watching this, you don't even know that I just addressed you. So that's also fine. I think what I'm going to do, even though it doesn't call for it, is maybe wax the outside of these. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. No, right here, this part's not supposed to be rough. Mm-hmm. I guess that's a good question. If you could walk to a place and get food. There's also, I think, a pizza place in there. Now, keep in mind, you have to walk and eat the food and then walk back. It's two and a half miles back, so it's like an hour walk, I think, each way. Is that right? Anyway. Maybe not. Maybe it's half hour each way. So you have to walk. What food would you rather have? So now we have this. And it says Octung. It says 20. This one was 20. Oh. Yeah. And then we have this piece. Then we have one, two, three, four, five. Just counting to make sure I'm using all of them.
And now this piece goes in there. Whoa. Okay, I see what's happening here. Ooh, do you hear that? Snap together. Sort of. That looks like actually it snapped out. It's okay. We'll get there in the end. We got there. It stopped recording. I tried to pause. And now I wonder if it was ever recording. I think it was. At any rate, we just did this. And I talked a lot of nonsense and complimented my mom an amazing gift. So now we have piece number 24. There's a lot of these. It doesn't say I have to cut them out of here, but it does say I have to do my favorite thing ever. Favorite thing ever. Do you know what that is? If you guessed waxing them, you're right. That's the joke. What do these look like? Make me think of arms. Do you ever sit here in moments of silence while you're trying to pry wooden pieces out of a thing? Think about all the people you've worked with over the course of your life. Me neither. Okay, so we got this. We need the money bank thing. And we're putting them we're putting them on here and it says I have to wax this. Okay, that's pretty thoroughly waxed, I think. I'm gonna turn this to make this candle. It's the little lake of wax. Go closer to me. Also, what needs to happen is this wick needs to come up out of the wax. Oh, shnikey. I expunged. Expunged, extinguished the wick. It's 
back to normal. Actually, it's better than it was. Because um, I fixed the wick in the meantime. We do this. I feel like this might work better in some areas. I think these are hinges. Let's, uh, I feel a rough spot here. In there. Yeah. Okay, I waxed a lot of things. Okay, now it shows this piece like that. And I think these go on here. Yeah, I think these won't wax all around. That's probably the best I can do. What are you showing me here, friend? They make it look like they're just going to stay up like this, magically. But you know what's going to happen? Yeah. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. They're not going to magically stay up. you got to be kidding me right now. Let's wax this a little better. Like, Maria, what's all that white stuff all over your thing? Look, shut up, it's wax. They told me I needed it. Did you see it all go flying? I bet you did. I bet you're like, what the heck was that? That was wax. Okay. Uh oh. No, okay. Here we are. There's eight of these on here now in their perfect up position, like they said. Check mark.
check mark done we get we check mark we got a checkpoint after step four now what do you tell me octung flip these up pretty sure that's what's telling me let's look at this picture You want it like this in my hand. Yeah, and it wants it flipped up. And then this piece. Goes like this. No. That was almost a disaster. Then these guys that I just put in have to lock it in place. So what I, no, you, st uh, I see you sneaking off. So, you're going to carefully make a space between each of these. This is easy. Okay, what is happening? It's it's binding somewhere. I, I think it's right here. <gasps> You're good. You're good. No, you need to chill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one needs to chill. No, no. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And then it locks it in place. They're like those oil derricks. I think that's what they're called, right? You know what I mean, right? How does this work? I gotta get the angle. Cause like, I get what's trying to happen here, but the angle feels awkward. And it feels like I'm about to break this. Because remember, we talk about I don't know my own strength. I have Hulk smash. Okay, got all of them in part way. That counts for something. What if I had waxed these?
that was one. What I think would help. I'm trying to like, this hurts my fingers less, you know, if I push down on a piece of wood on top of it. Disperse the point, the pressure, distribute. Coming back to you, you're, t you're having a tough time, okay? Keep thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Now, ooh, ooh, we did a bad thing, I think. I think it's supposed to be under here. Let's see. Wait. Gotta have to be under there. We have a problem. Oh my goodness. We have a major problem. Wait, maybe I'm wrong. No, I'm not wrong. I'm going to have to a minute to think to myself about how to fix this. Maybe cry a little. It's okay. Got it. I didn't want to see you. I didn't want you to see me cry if it came to that. <laughs> or other things, but really I was. Get on here. Why do you want to come off? You don't want to come off. You want to go on there. Okay. I think the good news is, though. This should be easier now. Yeah, the ones that I did already just pop right back in. Mostly. So we got a bunch in place. Mm-hmm. So you gotta be careful not to Hulk smash. Remember that you just don't even realize your own strength. You know I I, I hope that I say this to remind myself. <laughs> Presumably that's obvious. Earlier tonight, I told a friend that they didn't have the cerebral fortitude for something, and I felt really good about myself for that as a an insult. I didn't mean it. It was a joke. But I still thought it was funny. Okay, so we did that. If it turns out this wasn't supposed to be under here, I don't, I don't know. Now this piece goes on here. Maybe we should wax them.
If you've come here because somehow you have one of these and you're, or you're thinking of getting one of these, only get this for the most patient of children. We're done. That part is done. Not once do they show me if this is right, but it must be right. Next page. Oh no. There's there's words. Okay. After lock assembly, you need to find out the actual code configured when assembling. Where's my scissors? can't handle this. That wick was too high. This wick is too high too. did some rictoplasty. Okay, so it's like four. Look at the box. It's telling me check yo stuff. And then it's like telling me to look at this as though this piece wasn't here. Yeah, okay, friends. Guess what? It is here. Rotate the lock knob counterclockwise left until the slot on the last third disc is aligned with the ridge on the lock mechanism. Look at the digit on the knob that the triangle marks point points. It doesn't, I, I should have done this before I put the money on. They're clearly showing this without the money there. Why do they do this to me? Blame you, mom. Rotate to the right to zero. Okay. Then upon reaching zero, rotate further. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, <gasps> did you hear that? Okay. Once again, counterclockwise until the lock opens. What do you do when you're pretty sure you just did the right thing, but the lock mechanism still is in the way? Oh. That's what needed to happen. I just forced it. Okay, let's lock it. Okay, now we turn it. Doing this by looking at the back, but then I should be able to do it by looking at the front. We have a slight problem here. I think it's not greased enough. Look, I just want to point out you saw me wax it. So to close it counterclockwise. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to turn it counter. I'm going to look at the front. We're not going to look at the back counterclockwise to the number that I think it should be. Then clockwise to the next number. Then counterclockwise to the last number. And then, oh, then I can do that. Whoop, whoop. Bye -bye. Did it. Did it. Mom, it works, I built a safe. Okay, now, now it is big time. Sarosh Barshnosh. Oh, did it have words about close this before you do the thing? Locked. Ready or done. Okay. Maybe this is where it ends tonight. And then we have the rest of it tomorrow. Because now I have to, like, figure out how to get this video that's actually two videos into one. Should be easy. I'm 
But can I leave this now? I mean, I could. I could just stop recording and then start again. And make you all wait while I get to keep going. I have a box. Wish me luck, Mom. I said I was stopping, didn't I? Well, you'll learn to trust my word. I'm just gonna do this, though. I think this this step locks this on. That's a good sound, isn't it? This is 10. It goes up here. Then we need, um, oh, hey, this piece is done. Do we need 15? Well, we will, but we don't yet. It's almost time for this piece that fell out. Thirteen, I need you. This is like a train. Look at, there's the engine compartment guy. I think I might have read the number wrong. Thirteen goes along the bottom. Down here. You're empty. This was the right piece, the one that I thought was not right. There was this phrase that Jane Austen used. I think it was Jane Austen. And she was describing uh, novels. It just would have been in Northanger Abbey then probably. And she talks about the telltale compression of the pages. In other words, like, you know you're getting to the back of the book because, like, there's very few pages left. That's kind of how I feel right now. All these empty pieces. The telltale compression of the pages of the book. Um, this did not actually keep this in place. We should keep going. It's too late now. Okay, that's those pieces and then I need this piece I watched I think the last Miss Marple tonight well, I assume it was the last... Oh, wait, but it wouldn't have been Curtain. It, no, Curtain is... It's Nemesis. Yeah, I watched Nemesis, which I thought was the last, but then now I'm doubting myself because... 
Maybe it wasn't. No. I got that, 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 that. It's finally time for this piece. And a picnic table. No. You doubt me, but clearly a picnic table. Let's see, Let's see what's next. Okay, we off tongue to that. Then we have this standing up now. And on this side, we put this. And then we take this piece and these hungry, wrench-headed lizards finally get their snack. And then, interesting. Now I bet I need more wrench-headed lizards. These are actually not wrench-headed lizards, just so you know. These are just, I don't know. I actually think, at first I thought dinosaurs, but now they kind of like llamas to me. Welcome. I hope you enjoy your time spent in my brain with wrench headed lizards and llamas. Man, left a program on upstairs and I'm hearing it. Okay, now our llama dama ding dongs go in here. We're gonna push this in on my lap because I'm worried about hurting the other side now. I think that side's done. Now we need this piece. Should, they should really be like these are your final pieces, sand the edges. Can you hear it up there? Ba doop, ba doop, be boop. Oh wait, this one's supposed to go on the top. Come sa. Poirot would approve. Me. Favorite. Now we need another one of these. Friendos. 
I'm getting too excited now. Oh, this thing broke. On the back side, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Where's those other llamas? I'm going to take them out. Well, maybe it's a brontosaurus. Brontosauruses aren't real though, are they? Does it turn out they're a different dinosaur? I was never like into dinosaurs, but you know you learn about them in school, but then everything I learned in school is pretty much proved wrong now. So, you know, for all I know, there were no dinosaurs. For all I know, dinosaurs are the Illuminati. Or aliens. I don't actually think that's true. I watched a documentary on dinosaurs and so on, but I can't remember where Brontosaurus ended up. Don't at me, okay? Okay, that's how it's done. That's how it's done. Turn the page. Turn the page. Turn the page. Turn the page. Okay. Now we need this guy. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we need more picnic tables. Maria wants her picnic. And apparently she wants it quickly. Maybe the key to getting this done was haste all along. Okay, we need to put the picnic table there. Oh, wait. Almost ruined that. Now do I need the last two drama llamas? Maybe it was an apatosaur after that. Was an apatosaurus a dinosaur? Who knows? Feel free. But if you're just Googling it to give me the answer, don't feel free. I can Google. Thanks. Cricket. That wasn't a happy, happy camper or dinosaur or llama. I need to get in there and like push up to get these in there seated all the way. Now we go to the bottom. No. Now we go to the back. Turn the page. Now we gotta hope that we can still open the door. These are extra pieces.
Okay, so we said anti-clockwise to the number, then clockwise, then anti-clockwise. Honestly, you don't need to know the number. You can just like use your ears. Why are you like this to me? Everybody's watching. making it difficult without realizing it. Y'all don't even understand. I got a door in my way. What happens if you put it in backwards? Do you get extra points for that, everybody? Do you, uh, just uh, asking for a friend, not for me. I don't need to know that. Mm -mm. I can figure this stuff out. everybody Don't be
shelf. Mom, I love you, but I hate you also. <laughs> Just kidding. I need piece four from sheet eight. No, piece four is from sheet two. And you know what, Mom? I know when you hear me say that, if you ever watch this, you're going to laugh. And you're going to understand what I mean. These are piece four. Four goes on the bottom. Somewhere. Oh, it keeps the front on. You know what I think? I think some of this would be easier for a righty. And then I bet five goes through the ceiling. Here's, here's five. I just Hulk smashed my way into this piece coming out. You guys, are you so in love with hearing me talk about the Hulk? Yeah, you are. These go through the roof. These pieces are not all the way in. It's the noise we need to hear. What these pieces are these all the way in? I think they are. Now we have. So many pieces. These skulls. Are they skulls? No, they're Mike Wazowski's. Or jellyfish. These are they, this the set really wants me to lose my mind. At the end, they're like, oh, you're almost done. Give her the little pieces. Three, four. Five. 
five, six, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, these go into the front. In these little holes. How many holes do we count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably goes in there. This way? That can't be right. Can it? Neither way is right. Every way is wrong. You're too fat for anything. Yep. yep. We're all too fat. At least none of them fit. They fit better if you put them in the right way. Pro tip. We are so close. Oh no. Okay, now I need to stab it lots of times. Maybe, maybe this will work better if we wax them.
getting there. Did I open too many? I opened too many. It's all right. Some wax. I may or may not just be dipping my finger in melted candle wax. It's fine. Absolutely okay. Okay, now, where's my knife? We've stabbed it, now we cut it off. I used to have this really neat thing that had like a mini serrated blade on it on my keychain. That would be dope right now. Everything went fine. There was no accidental opening. Mm -mm. Tomorrow we clean this table. Right? I've told you that I have to clean it, so feel free to check up on me. Just kidding, please don't. This is a little feature. This, I don't think it's actually... I mean, who knows? Maybe everything on here is not aesthetic and structural. I don't think that's the case because there were those panels on the side that clearly were just aesthetic. So we just did those little things there. Please let this shelf still be in place. We know this uh, can take a licking and keep on ticking. Check mark. Y'all. Right here 
if I want, I can push this out. So then it becomes like a piggy bank. So you like drop coins in it and it becomes a piggy bank. What? Emergency opening. Take it apart. Y'all, y'all, we're done. We're done. We're done, and we don't have, let's see, I don't think we have any extra pieces. Except for the ones that they gave us that are extra. Do, 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 dun, dun, dun. Oh my. Let's lock it up. Can I open it now? No, I can't. It is locked. Yay! We finished! Thanks again to my beautiful and awesome mom and probably dad who probably weighed in on this. Um, and thanks to everybody who stuck along for the ride.